Hey, sorry for the quality of this. It's just off my cell phone. But uh, I wanted to show off real quick. Not show off, but... Uh, well, you know what I mean. My um, PRC6 radio project I've been working on here. Uh, here's the original radio. This is um, Greek surplus. But they got it from the Americans. So it's Vietnam original. Uh, there's some of the guts on the inside. Uh, all the original parts are still connected, although this was sold to me as uh, broken. So I want to show how I rigged this up to work with my little walkie-talkie here. It's pretty simple. Um, got me the original wire that came with the walkie-talkie. Uh, this is actually would have been like a, um, a TRS connector right there. So I just removed that it's still dangling on the inside. Ran the wire through. And uh, although the H33 upside down handset here with the push to talk um, has a 10-pin uh, U166, sorry, 161 uh, connector is the radio-specific one for this. The generic name of this connector is the U. 77U or the U79U, depending on the, the gender. Uh, it's a 10-pin connector, but you only actually need um, somewhere between four and seven pins. I will I will put in the link. Uh, I'll put links in the description to to the pin outs. But there's one of them. So that's for the well, H33 handset. So you see that you uh, have seven pins that are in use, but these two are redundant pins. So you actually only need the top five, uh, and if you look at, let me find it here, the Kenwood, which is what I'm wiring mine to, you'll see that the uh, the ground pins here are actually connected together. Uh, so that takes you from five pins on this uh, down to two pins, B and D can be bridged. So here's what the back of my connector looks like. Um, where you, you see that one bridge going between uh, up here, this red one is A, I believe. Um, no, sorry. This top one here is A. B, uh, the center ones are unused. So C, keep turning D, which has the bridge on it, and then E. Um, red wires are positive. Uh, black wires are ground, um, and those four pins go up all the way through. I'm calling the pins, four wires come up through to the uh, two pin or six wire connector. It's just one of these Kenwood connectors. Technically speaking, they only use, although these will accommodate up to six wires, the Kenwood standard only uses two, uh, sorry, two for each post, so four wires in total. Get that plugged back in. Eventually, I will be using the giant battery compartment in the back here to uh, house an internal radio. But since I'm trying to game this weekend, this has been my quick and dirty solution. So uh, let me put a pause in here and I'll assemble it and see what it looks like. Okay, so we're back. Here she is. I have an antenna on order for her. Um, you can see the one wire comes out the bottom there. Um, I'm going to do something to clean that port up. I did um, take the wire up in a bit of a bundle, so if you pull on it, you're not pulling directly on the connections and it won't come out. I'll probably do something to clean that up, but I'll be carrying it on my back like this anyways, so hopefully I should kind of cover that up. Um, I have another radio off to the side there already on. This radio is clipped up over here. If I push the button, It'll activate my push to talk and check, check, check one, two, mic check one, two. Uh, and I can't really do the earpiece test, uh, but trust me, it, it works. It's just the mic won't pick it up very well. Uh, I did want to mention a few things about this. Uh, this still has the original microphone and earpiece in it. Um, these are actually pretty nice compared to the newer. Um, this is the what U250, and there's also the 350, which is the six-pin variant. 
Um, they're fairly similar form factor, and uh, you oh you can get adapters for these as well. Here's one I I bought on eBay. Um, so if you want to use one of those, those though these these ones are uh, glued together. These ones this piece unscrews to gain access to the microphone, and there's a screw on the back here to give you access to the speaker. So these are actually much easier to swap the speaker mic on, which I probably will because they don't work perfectly with this. Uh, unsurprisingly, but they do work well enough. So that's something I'll probably do to this, is add new guts to this guy. Uh, but this guy has all its original guts still in it, they're just tucked out of the way and not in use. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I might do one more segment of this, but, uh, yeah, don't keep my word to it. Okay, so, um, quick final part here, with the radio on my webbing. Um, don't critique my webbing yet, I'm still working on it. But uh, I got my hand set up here, clipped on to the little, uh, phone's in the way, little little metal ring there. I should just show you the one on the other side. God, I don't know what I'm doing in this mirror. That little guy. Clipped on there, uh, slung on my back. See from this side, you can't even see that little extra wire. Uh, I did this if I had a helping hand, uh, you might just barely be able to see it right around that area somewhere. But it's fairly low profile. If I had a, a helping hand here, I could hide it away a little bit better. But uh, this right here is my PRC6. You know, I got my handset. Clip it away, and uh, I'm good to go. All right, so, so thanks for watching, guys.